Do you want to create the most interesting motion graphics? Well, here are five 3D tricks to create visually pleasing motion graphics in After Effects. These tricks are very easy and you can use them on your next After Effects project, so let's get started. For our first technique, I'm going to show you how you can create this 3D rotating title along any path that you want. So for example, this title is rotating around a circle. So what we want to do is come here to the top, grab any shape that you want. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw out a perfect circle on my title layer. So this will create a mask. Now that I have my mask, I can go to the text tab, go to path options and set that path to my mask one. My title will take that path. And I would also recommend at this time copying and pasting your title a few times so you can fill out the entire mask. Then go to the path options and set reverse path to on. And then we can alt click the stopwatch for first margin and do a time asterisk negative 100. This will now animate your title along that path. Then we can turn this into a 3D layer, go to animate, enable per character 3D, then add a rotation. And we'll come here to the X rotation and set this to negative 90 degrees. And then if you just hit R on your keyboard for the regular rotation values, you can adjust the X rotation to say 100 degrees and adjust other rotation values to position this how you see fits. And as a quick tip, you can quickly duplicate your title, bring down the Y position of one of them, and then change the font style so it can be a little bit unique. So that's how you can create a really cool 3D rotating title. All right, let's get rolling and create this awesome cylinder title. First things first, work in a composition that's 1080 by 1080 or one by one. Then type out your title and set the rotation of the title to 270 degrees until the title is vertical at least, right? Then you can go to effect, stylize, and grab CC repeat title. Increase the expand right and left until the title reaches the edges of your composition. And now we can go to effect, perspective, and grab CC cylinder. We'll go right into the rotation settings. We'll set our Z rotation to 90 degrees. There it is, it's facing right at us. You can adjust the other rotation values as you see fit, but we'll go to rotation Y, alt click the stopwatch, and we'll do time, asterisk negative 20 and this will give it the role that we need and to have this fill up the screen more go to position and decrease the position z value and to help the compositing of this let's go to effect perspective and add a drop shadow place the drop shadow effect above the cylinder effect set opacity to 100 percent and increase the softness to about 130. so now you can create a really cool and unique title creating an isometric block of text like this is very easy to create and there's many different ways that you can animate this and variations you can come up with. So I have two titles here to work with. The very first thing we need to do is grab, say, the bottom title here. And we'll grab the pan behind tool. And what we'll do is move that anchor point to the top part of our title. Then we can make these both 3D layers, grab our bottom title, and hit R and keyboard for rotation. And I can set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And this will push it back. So then all I need to do is go to layer, new, null object parent both these layers to the null object and then make sure the null is a 3D layer as well. We can open it up and then we can add a keyframe for position and the rotation values here, move forward in our timeline and I can adjust the X rotation here to reveal the other title. And then I can reposition how I see fit or I can rotate this in other directions as well. And one thing we want to keep in mind is that we probably want to hide the bottom title while our main title is facing us. So what we'll do is just drag in the end point of that bottom title so we can keep it hidden until it gets revealed. So now here's our main title, there it is, and then it goes back to normal. All right, so now that we're moving further, we're gonna create some really unique graphics here by creating this really cool folded three-dimensional title. So I have a title here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to layer, pre-compose, call it placeholder. And right off the start, we'll grab the rectangle tool and create a mask through the center of our title like this. Then grab the pan behind tool here at the top. Make sure that that anchor point is right there at that cut. Then take the layer and go to edit duplicates. Grab side the bottom layer and set the mask to subtract. Then set both layers to 3D. Grab the bottom layer, hit R on your keyboard for rotation and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And then go ahead and create yourself a camera. We can grab say the orbit round cursor tool and we can just like rotate this a little bit so we can see our cuts. And as a quick tip, go back in the placeholder and hit S rank keyboard for scale, break the chain and increase the Y scale of your title. Make sure to recenter it. And this way it looks a little bit better in our main composition. And then you're welcome to take these layers, duplicate them and readjust their positioning. All right, so I've created a few copies and to help with the lighting of this, we'll go to layer new lights, make it a point light, click okay. And we can duplicate this light, hit P and keyboard for position and then adjust the Y position value of the second light. 
until we can see the front facing side of our title and this will help blend and create gradations and everything that we would like. So you can play with the positioning of these lights to get a different effect. And if you want to animate these titles, just go ahead and animate either the camera positioning or create a null object and parent that all to the title. So do as you wish with that animation. So I love creating motion graphics like these, but they do take a little bit of time to create. Some of the examples in this video I'm showing here are from our 150 plus pulse template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our motion duck extension, we can preview every template and apply them with a single click. From here, you can easily change the titles, colors, and everything else to fit your project, and most importantly, surpass the expectations of your clients. You can check out all 20,000 templates that we have with the links in the description below. If you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. For our last trick, we're gonna create this title that's going to trick everyone into believing that it's just a regular title, but there's depth to this. So the first thing we want to do is type out our title and quickly go to layer new solid and we can create, say, a white background. Put it underneath our title and then grab both these layers and pre-compose them. We'll call it placeholder, click OK. Go back in the composition and go to composition settings and then crunch down on the width and height until the entire composition surrounds the title. Sort of like this and click OK. OK, with our title ready to go, we can turn it into a 3D layer and hit PR on keyboard for position. What we can do is alt click the stopwatch and I'm going to paste in this expression that will be in the description of this video. Just copy and paste it. And the reason why I'm using this expression is to have an automated way to duplicate our title. So for example, I'm going to duplicate this. And you'll see that the Z value has changed by 50 points. So I'm gonna go ahead and create 14 different copies. And you can see that my Z value is at 650. So this effectively pushed back each layer by 50 Z position points. So now I can go to layer, new, null object, grab all of our placeholders, parent it to the null object, and make sure the null object is a 3D layer. We can open this up and we can add keyframes for position and all the rotation values. We can move forward in time and I can adjust the rotation values and you'll see that we have this in 3D space. And then I might also want to reposition this as well. And we can even move forward in our timeline and adjust the other Z rotation values so this looks like it's moving and you can do whatever you want and be sure just to recenter this with the position parameter. So you'll get an animation that looks like this, a beautiful 3D stacked title.